All right, in this video, I'm just gonna go through on uh, how to view the LTS NVR, how to view your cameras using uh, Internet Explorer. I find it to be one of the easiest ways to do it when you're using your computer. Um, you don't have to download any Chrome extensions, although you can. If you want to get the Chrome extension, in, or if you want to use Chrome, you'll need to get a Chrome extension called IE Tab. And what that does is that kind of virtualizes you using Internet Explorer. I use that as well. But in this video, um, I'm going to show you how to use Internet Explorer. So you'll, uh, what you'll need to do is you'll need to get, have the IP address of the NVR or the URL. If you're internal, uh, probably going to be the IP address of the NVR. So you'll need to enter that into your web browser, into your Internet Explorer web browser address bar. All right. Um, you might need a certain port if yours is designed to or configured to have uh, a certain port that you're accessing it through. Uh, you'll need to have that as well. So um, once you get to this screen, you're going to want to log in using your username and password. So I will do that. All right, I hit enter and then it comes up. Now, the first time that you're using this, you may get a pop up that says uh, WebEx or something needs to download and install. You're going to want to do that, obviously, um, just how you would normally add any type of plugins just hit yes okay um, it may kick you out or bring you back to that login screen that's fine just log back in otherwise if you do all that and it doesn't um, you may just need to close it and then reopen it uh, and you should be fine okay so now though once we're logged in uh, if you come over here you'll see that we have what a three by three uh, viewing panel here I can come right down here and select which uh, viewing panel I want to uh, look at I currently only have five cameras on this system, so I will go with a three by three. Now, you'll notice this little yellow box. I can select any of the boxes and they will highlight in yellow. If I wanted to view, uh, let's say, hall, I can select that and it will populate that box. I can double click on that box and it will bring it full screen. I can double click again and it will bring it back. Okay, if I wanna look at this by itself I would come down here select the single panel and now I can zoom I just select a little magnifying glass with the plus and I'm using my mouse and I'm zooming in and out okay okay and if I zoom in I can grab the screen and kind of move it around okay now if I want to get off of zoom I have to click that again okay so that is how you view, very easy. Um, one more thing I wanna add is I'm gonna stop all the cameras. Okay, so now this looks like how I logged in. If I wanted to view them all, I would just come right here and hit this little start all view live, <laughs> all live view. Okay, there it is. And I can stop it and it will go away. All right, so if you look here, um, we have one box highlighted. It says front desk, okay? And if you look down here on this timeline bar, you'll see the date and the time. You'll see uh, basically a 24 hour, it looks like 24 hours, maybe 12 hours. But you'll notice this red, right? This red means that that is recorded motion, okay? So anywhere that you see red, that is recorded motion. Now, if you come over here to this little calendar, Anything that has a red uh, triangle in the bottom right hand corner means that that too has recorded motion for that day. So if I select uh, the hall camera, okay, you'll notice that there's not as much motion, probably because it's a less uh, traffic area, okay? So I'm able to select play and view back during this time which is about midnight, a little after midnight. Okay, so if I wanted to, let's just go to a different time. Let's just say three o'clock. All right, I'm at right around three o'clock. I'm gonna hit play, give it a second, and now it's gonna start playing. If it detects any uh, motion, and what is defined as motion is uh, this 
this camera or this um, recording represents a bunch of pixels, right? So if there's any type of pixel change, it's going to assume that that is some type of motion, okay? So, um, for example, like this window, like if it were, or yeah, this light coming in through this back window, if it were to, um, I'm just going to go single view, if it were to have any type of, um, you know, cloud passes by or anything, anything that makes the pixels change, that is going to detect as motion. Now, there is different settings that can be adjusted per camera as far as a sensitivity setting, meaning that you can lower the sensitivity so it doesn't pick up, um, you know, the minor details. Sometimes it could be like uh, small animals or leaves or, or bugs or something, you know, it's just small changes in the pixels that is going to create or assume that it identifies any type of motion. Okay. And I believe by default, it's probably a little bit um, more than half of the of whatever the threshold of sensitivity is. I want to say it's like probably like 60%. Typically, you can lower that down to right around like 20% because more likely we're looking for some types of live ar live objects, vehicles, uh, people, larger animals of, of that nature. So uh, keep that in mind. That can always be adjusted. Um, and I can show you where that would be. All right, so now to change the sensitivity, what we can do, I'm going to stop this. Oh, and let me just add. Um, so you'll want to select which camera that you want to view. Again, there's four on this one. You have uh, front stairs, w, or west stairs, first floor hall, back exit, and camera one. All right, so I'm just going to select camera one real quick. All right, camera one, you can see that it has a lot of motion. So this is an outside camera. A lot of things can happen with outside cameras. Bugs can be flying by, um, leaves, trees, just a lot of different things. So especially outdoor cameras, we like to lower that threshold. Um, and I'll show you that right now. And again, you'll look here, you'll see all the triangles that uh, indicate that there's motion detected. You're going to see quite a bit, uh, especially at night when it's really dark. Um, some, uh, you know, motion that's been recorded. Okay, so I'm going to go to the configuration. I'm going to show you how to adjust the threshold. Again, I would probably recommend like a 20. So we're going to go to image. I'm sorry, not image. Um, event. And here's the sensitivity here. As I said, it's about 60%. Okay, so typically we can lower this. I can usually put it at about 20. You can type in two, I believe. Oh, no. You can go by 20s. So we'd put that at 20. And then I'm going to also do camera one. We're going to do this one. So you can see we're getting the whole, um, and these this red. This is indicating that uh, anything in this whole red sector is available to be picked up as an assumed um, motion. Okay. So I can clear it. I'll clear it. And now I'm going to draw the area that I want. Okay, so anything outside of this area will not be a part of the motion detect. Okay, so that might help with some of the sensitivity. I'm also going to lower the sensitivity. Okay. I'll put it at 40. I don't know if they want to be able to pick up things that are further. All right, so we'll save that. Okay, so that's how you change the sensitivity. You can clear and you can kind of pick the areas that you want to uh, make sure this is enabled, of course, that want to be covered in uh, uh, for motion. Okay, so that's the video in a nutshell. I hope that helped. If you have any questions, definitely reach out, leave a comment, give us a call, 906-485-6080. Always here to help. Thank you.